Before we write any actual code, let me give you a quick overview over the architecture behind Angular 2 or behind an Angular 2 application. You can think of an app Angular 2 application consisting of several components, which are small building blocks, which make up the app. Additionally to components, we do have services, which are injected into our components, but I will pick up on that in a second. First, let me talk a bit more about component. What is a component? A component is basically a TypeScript class, which will then be compiled to classical, normal, plain old JavaScript. And this TypeScript class has some configuration attached to it and contains the logic of a specific part of our application. Now, as I said, we got some components in our apps. So, imagine that our own components and components then can hold templates which contain actual um, HTML as well as styles where we're talking about classical CSS. Now a component doesn't have to have HTML or CSS attached to it. There are also components or then called directives which just hold some logic which then may be used to render something to the screen, but which is not directly attached to some template. Now, these components can work together via selectors, which are basically custom HTML tags that is one method to connect components. Another one would be via routing where we basically switch pages or parts of the page. Now, if our components need to, for example, access some data, they will not do this directly, but instead they will use a service, which is another Angular specific terminology or part of the Angular philosophy. And this service can then be injected into classes so that those classes can then access the methods defined in the service, which for example may get data from a RESTful server or from some other data source. Obviously services can not only be used to fetch data, but to do all kinds of general calculations or fetching that is not specific to one component, but may be used by several components and therefore has to be injected. Now, don't worry if you're not sure what I mean by injected. I will explain it to you when, when you come to it, but it is very, very easy and is the way of transferring dependencies in Angular 2. Now, in a component, obviously, we want to render something to the screen from time to time because in the end we want our user to see something. So we got our template HTML, but as you are aware, a lot of the data we display in the application is dynamically created or updates. Therefore, Angular 2 has several ways of binding data to a view. Now, data binding is something we'll already come to in the next video, but we are aware that in general, Angular 2 has unidirectional data binding, which means data only flows in one direction. So, basically, from the view to the component or vice versa. There is two-way data binding too, but this is some kind of a special case I will talk about when we come to it, but in general be aware that we got this unidirectional flow. So I think that is basically enough of the architecture. Obviously you could go a lot more into detail here, but I think it's more fun if we actually get going and write our very first app, which we're gonna do in the next video. See you there.